Good morning, let me present you today Helen of Ukraine. General staff spoke about the situation in Donbass. Heavy fighting continues. Heavy fighting continues in Donbass. The enemy is advancing on steroids sake. This was announced by the Getab of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in the East Next Code. Over the past 24 hours, nine attacks by Russian invaders were repulsed in Donbass and Lukashak directions. Three tanks, eight artillery systems, eight units of armored combat vehicle, a special armored vehicle, and one unit of other vehicle were destroyed, the general staff said in a statement. Zelensky answered Kiskinga, this is not 1938. President of Ukraine, General Zelensky, responded to former U.S. Secretary of State Harry Kiskinga with a proposal to agree to the loss of part of its territory in exchange of ending the war. According to European provider, Zelensky stated this in his appeal, the text of which is published by the presidential website. It seems that Ms. Kinga does, does not have 2022 on his calendar, but 1938. And he thought that he was speaking to the audience, not in Donbass. Prepare umbrella, umbrellas. Ukraine will be covered by rains and showers on Thursday. On Thursday, May 26, there will be a lot of rain in Ukraine. Rains are expected in most areas. Heavy in some places, it will be dry only in the west of the country. However, the participation will practically not affect air temperatures in any way. It will be warm. Three EU countries support peace talks between Ukraine and Russia, Reuters, Italy and Hungary call on EU to make a clear case for ceasefire in Ukraine and peace talks for the, with the aggressor country. At odds with other member states determined to take her line on Moscow ahead of next summit. It is noted that in the draft final statement of the summit on May 30 to 31 and dated May 19, the European Union is described as unwavering in its commitment to help Ukraine realize its real rehabilitate right to self-defense and against Russian aggression. It does not mean mention peace talks. The EU has already frozen the assets of Russian oligarchs for 10 billion euros. Thanks to the sanction, Russian billionaires have lost access to luxury yards, real estate and other assets worth almost 10 billion euros since the start of Russian invasion in Ukraine. According to DAS, Pray. Since the beginning of Russian invasion of Ukraine, the EU has placed a number of Russian oligarchs on sanction lists because they are accused of having close with Kremlin. According to estimate, by April 25, by April, 29.5 billion euros had already been frozen, of which about 6.7 6 billion euros counted for the assets of the oligarchs. Please subscribe for more headlines like this. Thank you.